All right, guys, we finished part one, frame assembly and looking at the equipment. Now we're gonna get ready to do the flight controller, okay? So let's look over a few things. For me, what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna get my flux pen here. I've got my, so, I've got my soldering iron ready to go. Um, and we're gonna need to basically get the, you know, figure out how we wanna lay this flight controller out. So go ahead and grab your HDLRC uh, all-in-one board, okay? There it is. And you're gonna have this cable of wires here, which you will not use actually. This, you, if this comes in your set, and I'm not sure if we, all the sets are gonna have this or not, this normally, you, you won't be using this. Uh, so we're just gonna put that back in the bag for the time being. Um, and since you're gonna be watching the tutorial here, you don't really need to use this, but you can keep it on for reference if you want, you keep it on hand for reference. And then if you do end up with these little screws right here, just save them. We're not gonna be using them right now, just save those as part of your extras, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna focus on this board right now and how we're gonna mount it, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is, just so you get an idea, we're gonna end up mounting the board like this, which means that the white piece right here is gonna go down, but it's gonna be aiming towards the base. But before we mount it, we need to put the rubber stand off. So from each stack that had five, go ahead and take two and put them on each screw. So you're gonna to need to two on each one, all right? So we'll go one, two, and then we'll move to, uh, let me see, I took some from here. I mean, well, I guess you can mix them however you want. I just need to get two on each one. And I'll just take another two, it's fine. Either way, the main thing is that we have two rubber um, spacers on each one. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do the soldering while it's on here, you may end up wanting to take the back standoffs off. It may be easier to do that. Um, I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna solder this I'm gonna solder this on here because it makes for a good stand, um, but I'm gonna remove the rear standoffs here just because they're gonna get in the way of the soldering iron as I try to maneuver this thing. The good news is that by doing it, by putting it on the on the flight controller, um, it's gonna hold the board in position really well and you know, hopefully try to stop it from sliding all over the place. You can also take some extra tape if you have it and just tape the arms down. I'm gonna be rotating mine around quite a bit because of the way I solder. So I don't mind it. So here's what we want to do first. Go ahead and get your flux pen uh, or whatever you're using to apply flux and make sure to color up all the pads. So just go over it like a marker, just like that. Okay. All right. Now, while the flux is sitting there drying, you probably won't even need that again. Uh, we are going to be using a capacitor and we are going to be using our XT60 plug. Okay. Our harness. I mean, our, our X, sorry, XT30. Um, plug and so I believe if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna measure this real quickly because I'm pretty sure that the measurement I had on the original was from it was gonna be about 40 we'll give it about 45 millimeters so what I want you to do is I want you to take and measure 45 millimeters all right which is gonna be to about right there I want you to cut that off and do the same on the power on both sides all right, you can take these cables and toss them. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our, our strippers here and we're gonna go ahead and just strip a little bit of this so we can expose uh, the strands here. And we're gonna take our flux pen, just like that. And then we're gonna twist these up just like this, all right? And once that's done, I'm gonna take, now you can take, a, if you have a helping hands, you can go ahead and use your helping hands. I'll do that just because, normally I don't use the helping hands, but why not? It doesn't hurt to do, use it anyway. I'm gonna take some of my solder. All right, and I'm just gonna apply it so I can tin these up just like this and get it nice, soldered real nicely on there. There we go. And we'll do the next one here. Okay. All right, now we can let that sit. We'll set that aside. All right, now we wanna look at our board, okay? And if you were to use, and I, I'll use the uh, magnifier for this so that you can see what we're doing here. Um, and if you have that, if you have your, this manual that I was telling you about, this little card with your wiring diagram, uh, I guess you can reference this too if you'd like, okay? But here's what we're gonna do. We are going to use I'm gonna make sure I have this exactly right for you guys so that it'll make it easier. Uh, actually, let me just log in here real quick. Bear with me one second. Let me get into the computer and then I'll share with you the computer screen. 
under the microscope so that you guys can see what I'm looking at. So let me go launch the microscope here. Okay. All right. And I will get that over on the screen. Give me one minute here to just launch that here for you. This should make it pretty easy to understand. Uh, and we should see that coming up on your screen here. So let me focus it and then I'll get it up on the screen. Perfect. Okay. All right, so here's your board, right? So what we're gonna be doing, and, and this is basically, this is your main area of focus is gonna be right here, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the TX3 uh, and the RX3, all right? And then we're gonna be using, uh, let's see, the, uh, let me point this to you this way. I think I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to point this to you. So we're gonna use the TX3 and RX3, which you see right here. These are gonna be what we use for our Vista, okay? And then we are going to be using, if you look right here, here's our S bus. So we're gonna be using, and you can see if I slide this over just a little bit, we're gonna be using this pad for our S bus, and we can use this pad for our ground if we want. And then we have um, another ground, and I'll bring this back over. If you want, you can use the other ground from your Vista for here. But one thing that we wanna do is on the back of this, if I move this forward, uh, we're going to also use uh, the uh, marks here. So you have positive and ground here, okay? And if I move that over, you will see on your sheet here that we are talking about the VCC and the ground for our Vista as well. So we'll be so here's our XT30, okay, which we'll plug in. So if you look at that, and then here is our Vista power that we're plugging in. Then and obviously at the top here we've got um, our. Uh, TX and RX3 that we're going to be using. We've got our S bus that we're going to be using. And since there are two grounds, you can run the other ground here with the S bus if you want. So I'll show you how that's going to work, but I just want to give you an idea. So we're going to prep the board up like that accordingly. So now let's get back to our board. All right. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test continuity real quick. You don't have to do this. I want to test it just to verify one piece here real quickly. So we have ground to ground. Yep. Okay. So, so that we don't interfere. And what, what I would suggest is, if you want, watch me solder this first, and then you can follow and do yours the same, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the TX3 uh, first. So here it goes. So we're gonna go, uh, here's my TX3. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put my glasses on here, my better glasses so I can see everything. And then I will put this back in the microscope so you can see it, okay? So we are going to do the uh, TX3, which is going to be, and the RX3. So the RX3 is pad number three. If you're starting from that side, the TX3 is pad number four. Then we're going to go to our S bus right here, and we can put that. And then we're going to go to our ground right here, and we can use that for our, let me get that pad. There we go. Okay, so if you're trying to match what I'm doing for the front, this is what you would do. And let me just show you on the uh, microscope here. Okay, so let me bring that over. So you will have an RX and TX. So if you're counting, like I said, if you're starting from the left here, it's gonna be pad number three and pad number four. And then if you go all the way to the right, it's gonna be the first one from the right and then the third one from the right. That's your S bus and so forth, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, get ready to, we're gonna solder the motor pads now. So just get ready to do that real quickly. It won't take very long. Let's prep those up. We're gonna do it like this. One, two, get this here, three, all right, let's spin it around, there we go, Okay, so now that we've done the motor pads, and I guess I can try to zoom in here a little bit for you. So that's with the motor pads and the front piece now soldered, okay, right there. Now the next thing left to do is gonna be to put in the XT30s and to put in the, um, the uh, capacitor, all right? So there's a couple ways we can do this, right? The first way we can do it is we can actually take the board off, just carefully take the board off, 
all right? And we can flip the XT30 around and we can solder it from the bottom if we want to, just like that. Or we can start from the bottom and put this in and flip it up just like this, all right? And solder it from the top. However you wanna do it, I'm gonna go this route right here, all right? I'm gonna put it in just like that. Uh, and I'm going to then, when I'm done, and I've got the XT30 wired in as well, I'm going to uh, cut that piece off and then bend this up. So here's what you're gonna to wanna to do, all right? Go ahead and take your flux pen or whatever flux you're using, however you're fluxing these things to pre tin them, okay? And go ahead and just put the flux on the ends of the capacitor, all right? Okay, now, here's our board. Okay, and what we want to do here is, we want to go ahead and line this up so you've got positive and ground, and if you look here, you've got positive and ground, and just to verify, you can see this strip right here. This is your ground, okay? So make sure you pay attention to that. If you put this on backwards, it will look, it will look well, just like that and scare the, scare the junk out of you, okay? So let's go ahead and just feed this through, just like that. And once it's in there, you can just flatten it, just flatten it, okay? Just like this. Then you can bend these wires down just like that, okay? Go back over it with flux one more time. And now, solder it, okay? There we go. Perfect, okay? So now we've got it on there, and we're still gonna put our XT30, but we need to get rid of this excess wire first. So just take your snips, your wire cutters, whatever you call them, and just get right up to the edge there and cut those off. Look at that, you've got an excellent solder. It's covered here as well, it's safe here, no problems at all. And you've got it sitting right here, okay? Now what we wanna do is, let's get our XT30 that we prepared, okay? Now we can do this, like I said, we can do it mounted into this. If you wanna put this back in here now, so if it's holding it, if it's better for you and easier for you to hold it like that, you go ahead and do that. Take your tweezers or whatever you use to hold your wiring, okay? Now we've already pre-tinned the wiring, so all you're gonna do at this point is just kind of lay it on top of there and just rest it nicely and it's gonna melt in place perfectly. Just like that. Okay, no need to press hard, no need to go gorilla on it, just, just rest it on there and the soldering iron will make it all melt into place properly, just like that. Okay, so now you've got an excellent connection. You've got your XT60 ready and the XT60 will actually can actually fold up in between if you want it to, just like that. Okay, which it may do once we're done configuring this, but you've got everything set in place, all right? So the only thing left that you're gonna do now is you wanna tin, let's pre-tin the plus and the minus here, okay? Now look, if it's too hard for you to do that and you just wanna attach directly to these, you can, but it's good practice to try to get just in there and, and, and work to get the wiring for the Vista. And so all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pre-tin the positive and the ground just like that, all right? Now let me get that on there. And you're done. That's it, guys. So you have now prepared the, let me get rid of this piece of solder right there. Okay. And now what you've done is you have just completed the prep work for your board. Everything else that goes, goes on here now is gonna be coming from an outside source. So let me zoom out real quick. Verify, take a look at these pictures, stop the video if you need to, you know, look it over. These are our remaining, this is our, our graphic here we can use for reference. These are our remaining rubber um, spacers, all right? And your board is ready. So the next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna come in and we can either A, we can work the Vista, or B, we can work, excuse me, we can work the motors first. Um, really doesn't matter, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the motors first because there's, <coughs> whoa, <coughs> apologies, there's four motors, and if you've got the Vista on there and it's dangling around, you've got to sit there and do all this work, and the, the Vista is going to be going all over the place. So let's come back and do the motors next, and we'll do the Vista last. Okay, guys? See you in just a minute.